Hello YouTube, MIUI 13 is finally here and now we can check what's new and did it met our expectations. So let's find it. Ok guys, keep in mind that this phone is POCO F3 and this is not the final release of MIUI 13. This is still the beta, I will show you now. And of course it's using custom ROM from Xiaomi EU. Let's go to settings, my device. And you can see MIUI version MIUI 13 by Xiaomi EU 21.12.30 beta. Here it is, MIUI 13 beta. And here in the settings menu, you can see the number 13 is still in blue. And that means it is still in beta. When here it came colorful, it will be a stable version. But now it's still a beta. Here I have two devices just for comparisons don't blame me about this but i need to show you that but before we start if you are not already subscribed to my channel please do this now and hit that bell icon so you never miss a video let's jump in so guys let's first start with the new visual changes coming with me y13 okay one of the newest things here are the new wallpapers let's check them when you hold the finger on the home screen and here even the menu is a little bit different. When you tap here now you have a different style of buttons. When you tap here on the wallpapers and we receive a new super wallpapers coming with MIUI 13. These are the molten glass. We have 10 of them and these are crystallization. We have 9 of them. Let's check the molten glass. They will work on your lock screen and also on your home screen. They are moving. These are the molten glass and these are crystallization. You can see all of them. Now we can apply it. Set bot. And this is the new crystallization wallpaper. One of them. You can see how beautiful they are. I already have a video how you can install them on your device, but here they are officially from Xiaomi. And these are the new wallpapers. What else we have new? We have new widgets coming with MIUI 13. If you hold your finger on the home screen and select widget, here the style is still the older one, which is coming with MIUI 12. This is because I'm using beta and it's not final release. When the final release is here, we will receive those widgets here. But now we can check them here on the left screen, the new widgets. They are squarish, rectangular and of course you can select a different type of widget. And you have lots of lots of widgets. You can see here the weather widget. Of course we have different styles. We have here security battery, we have Mi Health steps, notes, lots of Chinese stuff here. Also here a different type of uh, widgets, how much water you are drinking today or a bunch of useless information. And you have also a different color widgets. And let's make comparison with the widgets here on the iPhones. Did you find some similarity? I think not. They are very, very different. Why Xiaomi? Why you are doing this every time you are trying to copy someone? You can see these widgets are exactly the same as weather widgets for the iPhones. Check the clock widgets. Not bad at all. And let's compare them now to the iPhone widgets. Just look at those clock widgets. What can I say? Just make a widget which express yourself, not iPhone users. And also I think, I'm not sure, but I think we have a new weather application with the new animations. 
of course again it's complete uh, ripoff of apple weather widget but this is not important now let's just check the animations And to complete with most of visual changes, what we have new now, we have a new control center. Here it is with brightness and volume sliders here, big toggles for Wi-Fi and mobile data. It's same as almost same as Huawei Harmony OS. And I think it's just again same as let's just swipe down. This is Apple's control center and this is Xiaomi control center same almost the same the new control center you can see the older one here but this is the new one it's not very different Just rearrangement here of the sliders and toggles but it's just the same control center and if you swipe left again you receive your notifications just like before and here is the new control center Again, compare it with the older one and again a ripoff of Apple Control Center. Xiaomi are even trying here to represent something like Material U from Android 12. So maybe at some point you can see when you are changing the colors, the whole system UI is changing. This was very fast presentation, but probably we'll see at some point Material U coming for MIUI 13 or 13.5 what else visual we have and probably the last thing is when you go to settings display and you scroll down you will find font settings we receive now new font Mi Sans this is coming with MIUI 13 it's not a big difference but it's here with MIUI 13 we receive Mi Sans new font coming from Xiaomi this was almost everything about the visual improvements coming with MIUI 13 but keep in mind that Xiaomi already explained us that MIUI 13 is more of an under the hood improvement so here you can see they claim that they improve frame drops with mid-range devices they are 52% of improvement of frame drops 32% of mid-range devices and 15% of flagship devices so this is a big big improvement for Xiaomi devices in terms of privacy and security Xiaomi claims that they improve face unlock and before that it was scanning just your face but now it will start scanning the upper part of your body so it will it can ensure that it is you and not someone else because you know every phone is scanning just the face but now Xiaomi phones will start scanning the upper part of the body to improve the face unlock and security of your phone. I'm not sure this will came to global phones, but this is what Xiaomi present with MIUI 13 for Chinese market. Also, they have a new improvement in scanning. If you scan your ID or, uh, or something personal, now you can put a watermark on it and you can protect it in this way new security warnings are also here with MIUI 13 again guys keep in mind that everything i talk i'm not sure it will came to global market or it will just stay for china market on the launch event xiaomi also present a MIUI 13 pad system which is specific interface for their tablet it will be different with uh, moving wind minimization optimization of every window and also a shortcuts dual screens everything you are expecting from tablet interface this is long waiting future because you know no one is doing anything about the tablets and their interface so now we receive that separation with android 12 l next thing is miui handoff if you are going to settings, connection and sharing and select MIUI plus beta, you now will receive that feature hand off. Use hand off with apps, clipboard, videos and other items 
on the other devices associated with your Mi account. Let's check it, some team tasks in the same map on the other device. And you can see if you have something open in your phone, you can move it directly to your tablet. Videos, pick up a video, playback from where you let off on a different screen. So if you are playing a video on your phone, you can move it directly to your tablet and you can continue from there. Documents, view, edit and save documents while switching between devices. So if you edit a document, you can switch directly to a bigger screen. And also a clipboard. Copy on one device and paste seamlessly to the other. So if you copy something on your phone, you can directly paste it here on your tablet. Hotspot, connect to the portable hotspot, hotspot in one tab. Also, we will receive now the new Mi Magic Center. You can seamlessly connect between different devices. For example, if you select a speaker and move it to the bubble of your TV, for example, it will directly start playing the music on the TV. This is something which I think is directly copied from Huawei and their Harmony OS. Here they are called super devices and they are just doing the same job. You have one major device here and everything around it and you can move just a bubble here on, the, on your TV, on your tablet, on your computer or on your speaker for example. And this is almost everything new coming with MIUI 13. Better for now or at least for me. I think they just improved the whole experience with using the phone. It is now smoother, running faster, animations are better. So everything is just pol- And maybe Xiaomi are going on the right way. Just I want a more individuality from them, not just copy from Apple iOS or Huawei, never mind, or Samsung, just create something new and implement it in better way than others. So guys, thanks for watching. If this video helps you or if you like this video, don't forget to subscribe my channel. Thanks for watching and have a nice day.